approaching the Mississippi River. Exciting state in the Union. Colorado. So here we are at, what's this called? <laughs> so here we are, we're in uh, somewhere in Colorado, somewhere near a major metropolitan area. I think it might be Colorado Springs. And we're about to climb the pinnacle as our first warm up. It's right up here. And it's gonna be three to four pitches, five, five climbing. And this should be a great way to get into this higher elevation alpine climbing. You excited, Kim? Yeah! You excited, Goku? Oh, yeah. You excited, Dan? Yay! the mountain and I forgot its name again the pinnacle we're at the pinnacle of the pinnacle at 28,000 feet 28,000 feet yeah. and now it's time for a post climb lunch in Europe <laughs> here we are in Germany Alpine lunch mm, tasty. look at the bed that's it We are almost to the trailhead. We are on the four wheel drive section right now. No worries. We're ready to start walking and we already found a rainbow. Rainbows are excellent luck. So here we are at our base camp for the Needle. We are at about 11,600 feet above sea level. And we have a small issue. We seem to have forgotten our tent. And <laughs> we are holed up underneath a little uh, shelter. All right, just kidding. There's our tent. <laughs> but we had a great time coming up here. And tomorrow morning, we're excited to start our actual main event of the trip climbing the needle which is right up here we had a lucky score on the way up here finding one can of ice cold diet coke unopened in the lake look at that We're getting rained on. We're on, we're on a crazy mountain right now. 25,000 feet up. We're being bear grills. Next we gotta drink our pee and eat our shit. 
I'm gonna have to edit that because you used a guy's name who's a celebrity and I don't want to get sued. Almost noon now. We've been climbing since five in the morning. We're at about 14,000 feet. Feeling pretty good. A little, everything, every breath takes a little longer. A little winded. But we're doing well otherwise. It's been a pretty smooth ride up. Got one pitch to go. Gokul's currently climbing that. Then some easier stuff to the summit. Been a long climb down. It's been an awesome day so far. Camera's rolling. How does it feel? <laughs> Not a bad day. Oh, we made it. We made it. Well, we've made it back to the parking lot, and now we've got a little bit of a problem. We've got a uh, flat tire here. I guess that's what happens when you take four-wheel drive roads, which are bumpy, and we're in the middle of lowering the spare, and we're really hoping the spare has enough air in it that we can get out of here. We've got another problem. It's the flat tire won't come off. What we have here is a system to get this tire off the vehicle because we cannot get it off the vehicle ourselves. We don't know why. We tried mechanical advantage three to one off of a tree. That just, all that did was nearly pulled the car right off the jack. We've tried knives, screwdrivers. We haven't tried the oil, but that's not. We might try some oil. Now we're doing caveman, just bash it with a rock. Let's see what happens. Flat tire fixed! Yes! So, I didn't get it on film, but after trying. Z drag? Z drag. Three to one, three to one mechanical advantage. And we tried olive oil, and we tried a knife, and we tried banging on it. And hand sanitizer. And hand sanitizer, trying to loosen this tire. I think it was the olive oil that did it, though. Maybe the olive oil started to loosen it. But this guy came up, and we said, hey, you own a, do you have a Toyota? He said, yeah, I used to. And he said, do you need a jack or something? No, we just can't get the tire off. And so we showed him the problem. And then he said, oh yeah, my 96 used to do it, or did this to me once, same thing. And we said, how'd you fix it? And he said, I kicked the shit out of it. And then, and then he kicked the shit out of it and it popped off. The end.